addition and subtraction of similar fractions. Good day students! Today we will learn how to add and subtract similar fractions with or without recurving. Let's begin! Let's try to solve this first problem. One fifth plus two fifths. These fractions are similar fractions. Similar fractions have the same denominators. Now how do we add them? Let's try to solve this problem by drawing some representations. One fifth can be represented as a whole divided into five equal parts where one part is taken. While two fifths can be represented as a whole divided into five equal parts where two parts are taken. Now let's add the two. Let us count the number of parts taken in all. Therefore, there are three parts taken out of five equal parts. That makes three out of five or terrifics. That was so easy, right? Now, let us observe this equation. How to add or subtract similar fractions without drawing any representation. Very good. The first step is to add or subtract the numerators. 1 plus 2 equals 3. Then, we copy the common denominator, which is 5. Lastly, we simplify or reduce the fraction to its lowest term, only if possible. Since 3 fifths is already in its lowest term, that is our final answer. Let's try some more examples. 1 8 plus 3 8. Add the numerators 1 plus 3 equals 4. Copy the common denominator 8. Now let us simplify this fraction. But how do we reduce it to lowest term? Let's have a quick review. We can reduce a fraction to its lowest term by getting the numerator and the denominator's greatest common factor. Let's list down the factors of 4 and 8. Factors of 4 are 1. Well, the factors of 8 are Now let's get the greatest common factors. Very good. It is 4. Now that we know the GCM, we are going to divide the numerator and the denominator by the GCM, which is 4. 4 divided by 4 is 1. 8 divided by 4 is 2. Therefore, our answer is 1 half. Let's check our answers by drawing some representation. Great job! Let's try some more. This time, we are going to try subtraction. 6 tenths minus 4 tenths. 6 minus 4 equals 2. Copy the common denominator, 10. Let's simplify it by dividing it by its GCF. The GCF of 2 and 10 is 2. 2 divided by 2, 1. And 10 divided by 2 equals 5. Final answer is 1 fifths. Let's check our answer by drawing some representation. Let's have another example. 3 9 plus 6 9. 
3 plus 6 equals 9. Copy the denominator 9. We can see from here that the numerator and the denominator are the same. If they are the same, they are always equals to 1. Let me show it to you by drawing some representation. A whole divided into 9 equal parts, where 9 parts are taken is 1. Another example. 5 minus 2 is 3. Copy the denominator 3. And that is also equivalent to 1. Now let's try some more. 5 7 plus 4 7. 5 plus 4, 9. Copy the denominator 7. If our answer is an improper fraction, we need to convert it into mix by dividing 9 by 7. Now our answer is 1 as the whole number, 2 as the numerator, and 7 as the denominator. Our final answer is 1 and 2 sevenths. Let us check our answer by drawing some representations. Now let's have another example. 10 thirds minus 6 thirds. 10 minus 6 is 4. Copy the denominator 3. Since our answer is also an improper fraction, let us divide 4 by 3. Our final answer is 1 and 1 third. Let me show you our representation. Great job! Now it's time to add mixed numbers. First, add the numerator. 2 plus 1 is 3. Copy the denominator 6. And then add the whole numbers. 2 plus 1 is 3. And then simplify your answer. Remember, we just copy the whole numbers. Therefore, our final answer is 3 and 1 halves. Let's try another one. 7 minus 5, 2. Copy the common denominator, 12. Subtract the whole numbers. 5 minus 1 is 4. And then simplify the fraction. Copy the whole number. And then your final answer is 4 and 1 6. Wonderful job, student! Now here are the things that you learned today.